breaking news in Nigerians. Tinubu said to take much awaited action on Monday amid calls for his resignation over certificate controversy. Details will shock you. On Monday, October 16, President Bola Tinubu is said to reconvene the Federal Executive Council, FEC, marking 32 days since the inaugural cabinet section held in August 28, as reported by this day on Sunday. In contrast to previous administrations, including the immediate past administration led by President Muhammad Buhari, which held weekly FEC meetings, President Tinubu's approach differs. As per the Minister's Statutory Powers and Duties Act, the FEC, chaired by the President, serve as an advisory body to the President, outlining its constitutional role. Back on August 21st, President Tinubu administered the oath of office and inaugurated 40 five ministers who subsequently attended the inaugural cabinet meeting at the council chamber of the presidential villa in Abuja on August 28. In the meantime, the Senate has recently confirmed three ministers, Balaraba, Abbas, Lawa, Kaduna, Jamali, Ibrahim, Kwara, and Ayodele Ondo, who were anticipated to be sworn in on Monday before the cabinet meeting. So guys, what's your take on this? On Monday, October 16, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu is set to reconvene the Federal Executive Council, FEC, making 32 days since the inaugural cabinet section held, in, held on August 28, as reported by this day on Sunday. In contrast to previous administrations, including the immediate past administration led by Muhammad Buhari, which had weekly FEC meetings, President Tinubu's approach differs. As per the Minister's Statutory Powers and Duties Act, the FEC chaired by the President serves as an advisory body to the president outlined his constitutional role. Back on August 21st, President Tinubu administered the oath of office and inaugurated 45 ministers who subsequently attended the inaugural cabinet meeting at the council chamber of the presidential villa in Abuja on August 28. In the meantime, the Senate has recently confirmed three ministers. Meanwhile, there are reports that President Bola Metinubu is not feeling well. That is the reason why the delay of these meetings and all that. Nigerians have been calling, majority of Nigerians have been calling for President Bola Metinubu resignation since uh, the Chicago State University reviews his uh, or releases uh, academic uh, details and all that. Majority of Nigerians have been calling, you know, President Bola Metinubu to resign. According to the Chicago State University, they said the certificate President Bola Metinubu submitted to INEC was not from the school. And you can understand that this is against Nigerian constitution for anyone who is to run any position, any office, run for any office in Nigeria to submit a forged certificate. Meanwhile, in a recent and telling revelation, a renowned Nigerian investigative journalist, Jack Sinude, has made a grave allegation concerning the heads of Nigerian president, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who day in a tweet that sent Shock waves throughout the nation disclosed that the First Lady Remy Tinubu has lame blame on the Vice President Shetima for her husband's deteriorating health. 
In a tweet, Jackson Uday proclaimed, Remy Tunubu blamed Shetima for Bola Tunubu's worsened health conditions. Unveiling a potentially sinister tweet in the ongoing health concerns surrounding President Bola Tunubu, according to his source, Mrs. Tunubu has accused the Vice President Shetima of resorting to dark rituals, including enlisting the help of Marabas for prayers and animal sacrifice and meat at keeping her husband incarcerated. He disclosed that President Tinubu's health woes have been a subject of imminent public interest since his return to Nigeria, where he has remained trained in a, a clerk of secrecy and seclusion, according to him. Report from an insider suggests that he is so fair that he cannot even dress himself without assistance in testifying concerns about his well-being. The alleged allegation, according to Jackson Uday, came to light when Remy Tinubu was informed that her husband's lingering sickness might be attributed to the Vice President Shetima's sinister intentions. The accusation centers around Shetima's alleged engagement with Marabad spiritual practitioners who have reportedly been conducting prayers with the intention of keeping President Tinubu incarcerated to advance their political agenda. Nigerians The alleged current health condition of President Tinubu raises doubts about his ability to fulfill his official duties, including attending vital meetings such as the Federal Executive Council. You understand? So let's see how things unfold. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.